Friends, let's give a coin. And actually today, fundraising. I'm going to be talking about fundraising, but don't get scared. So first, a, p- a coin in the pushke, and now my fundraising different pitch, which actually I hope we will have to give this year. What am I referring to? This Shabbos, the Shabbos before the month of other Shabbos where we bless the new month, is also called Shabbos Kolim. Because at that time, in the time of the Besamikdash, they would proclaim and announce everybody should come and give the half shekel. There's a biblical command when they came out of Egypt, everyone had to give a half a shekel to take census, to know how many people they had. Since we don't count people, everybody gave the same coin, and we counted the coins, and we knew how many people there were. It also served as an atonement for the sin of the golden calf. In later generations, this money was used to buy the communal daily sacrifices so that everybody has a part in these communal sacrifices. But listen to what the Mishnah says. The Mishnah says, on the first day of the month of Adar, the court, the Basin announces the collection of the half shekels. And they also proclaim at the same time regarding the obligation to uproot forbidden mixtures of diverse kinds of food crops in gardens and fields. Basically, the mitzvah of Kilayim that we're not allowed to cross-plant. Every type of food has to have its particular section and not to plant it too close to each other. The mitzvah of Kilayim. Now, one wonders. What do those two issues have to do with each other that it said in the same Mishnah? Half a shekel and planting. Now, simply because half a shekel had to be given during the month of Adar, planting usually takes place in in that season before Nisan, so they said at the same time, but there's got to be more to it. So Rabbi Yossi Goldman from South Africa has a beautiful thought and he took it from one of the Rebbe's talks. And he says the following. In the giving of the Shkolim, there was a certain equality. The rich shall not give more, and the poor shall not give less, says the Torah. Everybody has to give a half a shekel. Made no difference. We're able to afford, not able to afford. This is what everybody had to give, indicating that we're all the same. A message of equality. Kilayim says just the opposite. Apparently we are not the same. Every food is different. Differences do exist. And we should not blur the lines between things that are inherently diverse. So while Shkolim preaches unity, Kilayim teaches diversity. Yes, we should treat all people with equal respect, compassion, and dignity, but we must acknowledge the differences between us. The unity of the half shekel contributed by everyone equally is offset and counterbalanced by the unique nature of each individual. So Shkolim and Kilayim appear together in the same Mishnah to remind us that while we are indeed all equal, we are in fact not all the same. And both approaches are true and necessary. In the Avdala prayer, which we recite after Shabbat, we speak of some of these differences. Because there it says, Blessed be God who distinguishes between the sacred and the mundane, between light and darkness, and between Israel and the nations. Confusing light with darkness, the holy with the ordinary, and Judaism with other ideologies, is neither wise nor honest. Blurring the lines of Jewish identity risks diluting the very thing that makes us Jewish. We must be warm, loving, and accommodating to all. But that doesn't mean that everything is the same for everyone. Making believe we're all the same may sound noble, but in the end, it only obfuscates and models our unique, respective realities. The Talmud of Baruch says, 
Just as there are no two faces identical, so two mindsets are identical. We don't have to be the same, act the same, earn the same, or think the same in order to love and respect one another. We may be very different from each other, but we each have our own unique and distinctively different characters and life missions to fulfill. As we say in the daily prayer, Please God, bless us all as one. Emphasizing, although we are different, we still unite and become one. And this oneness, is which brings to the ultimate unity with Mashiach. And we really hope that we be called today, even before Rosh Chodesh Adar, to give the half shekel for the Beis Amikdosh, because we will all be in the Beis Amikdosh.